welcome back or if you're new today welcome thanks for stopping by and visiting uh, my name is Michelle and I garden in garden zone 5 in Illinois now today's video I have a plant haul in our area a lot of the big box stores now have started clearing plants in uh, we're getting closer to the end of July now so um, they are getting rid of those plants so I have a big haul that I picked up today from Home Depot and the plants were 50% off and so I'm going to show you the plants I got and tell you about what I got um, give you a little bit of description do you see the cardboard boxes behind me I got something in the mail this week I'm so excited I'll have to show you that too I've been looking and I think I found something to use this winter to add to the garden so I'm excited to show you that and I also want to give you a walk around a little bit in the in the back garden so let's get going okay so let's talk plants first so one of the first things I picked up was this bloomables which is by star the rose company I picked up a hybrid tea rose and this is sweet mademoiselle now these flowers will be a these roses will be a peachy pink and as you can see there are little buds all over this rose it's just beautiful and this rose let me put on my reading glasses gets about five feet high it says and its hardiness is negative 20. So um, it says it blooms spring to fall. So this will be an all season bloomer then, all summer long. So I'm excited about that. that. Now this was $24.98, so I would have got it for half price. So $12.50 for a hybrid tea rose. I don't think that's bad at all. So I'm excited to see that new color. What else did I get? Oh, I gotta show you the little pig. Now I didn't get the little pig. The little pig was a gift um, to me from my sister a few years ago and I've been holding on to it looking for the perfect thing to put in it and I think I found it. This is cat grass. Now we don't have a cat but my son, our son has a cat and so his cat is an indoor cat and she likes cat grass. So I found this on clearance for 50% off and it is, it was with the preannuals. And so it was just in a little um, court, I guess you would say a little four inch pot. And so I picked this up and it does look like it needs some help. So I cleaned it up and I picked up three of them and I potted each one up individually so I can change them out for her. And I thought this would be so cute sitting next to her cat um, dish in our son's house. And then she can just munch away on her grass whenever she needs it and she really enjoys it so that was cute i got three of those like i mentioned and they were originally i think 549 so about 275 for some cat grass and that was not at home depot that was at a garden center uh, that i picked up this weekend i picked up three of those at a garden center back to home depot I got five dwarf Alberta spruces. Now these are little ones and there was a reason I picked these little ones because they had bigger sizes and I didn't want the bigger sizes. I like to put this size in my urns over the winter time. So late fall, I'll put these in before it gets too cold to be outside to plant up. And then I leave these in all winter long for winter interest in the urns. So I picked up five of them. Um, they actually, if you would plant them, you can plant them out in your yard. They get six to eight feet tall. They're hardy to negative 30. And it says to space them about 36 inches. So these were $9.98. So I got them for five bucks. So I thought for the urns this winter, that's a good deal. So I picked up, like I said, five of those. Green velvet boxwood. Now these are full sun, 24 to 36 inches tall and wide. 
Um, and I've had the green velvet. I bought some of those earlier in the season. These say that they'll go to negative 30, so they should work in my area. So we'll try those out. They were $22.98, so about 12 and a half, 11 and a half bucks. Arborvitaes, green giant Arborvitaes. Now these get 30 to 50 feet high. It says to space them 12 feet. The hardiness is negative 20. $24.98. So 12 bucks, 12 and a half bucks for these. They do smell very fragrant though when I walk by them and they're pretty. And these, I think when they get bigger, I wouldn't want to cut on them now. But these would be pretty in arrangements too, some of their fronds. So I like those. So I'm excited about that. So that was all up here, all the stuff that I picked up um, at Home Depot today and at the garden center yesterday. So now let me show you what I ordered in the mail. Okay, first let me tell you about this. Now you know that I have been talking about wanting an urn and I took you on the garden tour of the um, Vandevere Botanical Park and I mentioned then that I wanted to get an urn. And so I've been looking for quite some time and I found How pretty that is so I just really like this um, now this is not concrete though because there's a reason I didn't go with concrete I did look at concrete but as you're probably aware if you've looked at any type of statuary concrete is so heavy and to move it around and for the place I wanted this winter um, concrete wouldn't have worked it would have been too heavy so this is stone, crushed stone on the outside, but fiberglass. So it's supposed to be, according to um, the description, as durable as concrete. And I can also leave it outside. Now, of course, um, the manufacturer doesn't recommend leaving it outside in the winter time. Um, but then they don't recommend to leave concrete outside in the winter time. They don't recommend that you leave any statuary out where you have a freeze thaw type situation like we would have in zone five. But I realize that and I may be shortening the life of it, but I wanted something that I can enjoy all winter long because of it being, you know, everything in zone five pretty much dies back if it's not an evergreen. So it's pretty bare in the winter time. So I like to keep some of my stuff outside. So I knew whatever I bought, I wanted to buy something that I could use outside this winter. Now this is a two piece. It ends here. And then this is the pedestal that I bought separately that um, matches it. Now I got these online at Home Depot and they are MPG, yeah, MPG planters. I'm looking at the side of the box to be sure, but yes, MPG planters is what these two are. And they did have um, other pedestals to pick from, and they had other urns to pick from, and these also come in black. So if this is something you're interested in, I'll link them in the description, and it's not affiliated or sponsored, but I just liked them and it got, they got good reviews. Uh, there was some people that when in the reviews they had included their pictures and that really sold me on it too because it helped me see what the plants look like inside of it. So for right now I have it setting here. Um, this wasn't originally where I was gonna put it. I was gonna put it over behind us by the garden house. Um, but once I placed it there, last night i just didn't like it with all the window boxes it was just too much so i like it here it kind of fills in the space by the stairs next let's do a walk around the backyard you champagne which wishes 
Easy Elegance, and I'm hoping that shows up on the camera, but that one just opened up today. And can you see the center of that opens up in an, like a an real light apricot pinky peach color before they go completely white. Let me see if I have a good example over here. So that one's been open up more than a day. So you can see the difference. That's a, it's been a really good rose and it's doing really well. And I picked this up two seasons ago, Easy Elegance. You can find those usually at Lowe's and Home Depot is the two places in our area that carries those. Okay, and you have to see the volunteer Proven Winners Petunia. That was from last year. I had a hanging basket up above and then later on this season, a little fa flower started, you know, emerging and I just let it be and watered it. And sure enough, look how, how much that spread. So that's the Silverberry Proven Winners Super Vista. So this is the far side of the garden house and the, of course, um, petunias are doing fabulous. They're just going gangbusters. And I do give them supplemental um, feedings with water fertilizer. Um, it hasn't been every week though, um, but I do try to do it every couple weeks. And this is a new bed. If uh, you're new today watching, this bed has only been in a few weeks. This was all grass last season and um, turned it into a flower bed. Do you see the Hummer? That's on Honey Bells. I changed that up. I moved Honey Bells down here with the red geranium and I just added some more of that cat grass to grow to take to my son's cat. It won't be staying there. Let's see if we can get the hummingbird. There we go. Look at him. So that is called Honey Bells. And it's the first season I've ever grown that. And that's an annual for us. And I put that with the Sweet Caroline potato vine and also the Creeping Jenny Goldilocks, which those chartreuse colors look really pretty with the, the honey bells. So they say that this is a big hummingbird attractor and I would say, yes, it's right. Do you see my basil? Look how well that's doing. That's, um, that's a, that was from seed and that's pesto besto basil. So it's doing really well. Thanks for stopping by today. Get out in your garden, enjoy your day, and I will see you in the next one.